All right, here we are at a brand new luxury community here in El Dorado Hills. This is Ridgeview at El Dorado Hills by New Home Company. It's really one of the most newest up and coming communities with amazing views of the Sacramento Valley. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing one of their model homes and be sure to check out our other model home tours, which we will link down below once they're available. But let's go through this home. I'm sure it's going to amaze you. All right, here we are in front of the plan four or the residence four. This floor plan is one of their bigger ones with a five bed, four and a half bath with over 4,600 square feet. Now I know it's a little bit loud outside. There's a lot of construction going on. In fact, we just reviewed the other model home next door. So if you're interested in that, we're definitely gonna be posting all the model tours on our channel and look out in the description as we'll update that once they're ready. Now, one thing off the front of this home, you'll see there's two doors and we'll show you what's going on with the two doors here by New Home Company. All right, hopefully we can get away from some of that noise, I apologize. So here we are, this is the plan four. And right off the entrance, you have this nice opening, just beautiful tall ceiling to the top, open rail staircase. Now, not too different from the other plan three, which we just reviewed, so look out for that one. But I do love this floor plan because we'll get into some really beautiful points here in a little while. Now, right off the front, I did show you that extra door off the front. Now, this home, is actually equipped with kind of a guest suite. So you have a private separate entrance, beautiful windows throughout the front of the home, but this is kind of your living area for the guest suite here. And you do have a kitchenette with a little wine fridge or a little regular fridge right there and a sink and plenty of cabinet space. So I do really like that. You still have room for the TV, maybe for even a little uh, dining area. But I was here, you, you know, it's kind of set up for uh, more of a couch style living room. Now it goes into a separate bedroom right here, which is still a good size bedroom. You could definitely fit a bigger mattress in here if you wanted to. And of course you have a full bath as well. So a nice walk-in shower. So if you have someone that's gonna be planning on living with you or you have frequent guests and you kind of want to give them their own separation and space, this is such a lovely idea. You have a walk-in closet here as well. So still enough space in there. Now, I do love that about this home, about this floor plan. I know it's gonna attract a lot of people looking for that, you know, extra space in the home. Now let's get back to the main event because really I'm excited about these homes. They've been a long time in the making. Now you do have a guest powder room right here, right off the front of the home, which makes sense when guests are coming in and out. But check out this floor plan. To your right, you automatically have this nice, big, open dining area. I do love that they've done these two cutouts in the wall. It gives it such a more open, spacious feeling, lets in more natural light, especially here from the living room. Now, flowing over here, you kind of have living, then another seating area, if you want to do this as almost breakfast eating or informal eating, and then you still have a huge kitchen with a nice, long, oversized island. I mean, look how much seating you could do at this island. You could probably just eat here and never even have a table but I love the cabinetry also to the top of the ceiling. That's a nice touch as well. Nice big hood, stainless steel appliances. Gotta love that. Now this is the monogram, so it's kind of be um, more of an upgraded appliance package with monogram. Now the dishwasher is gonna be cafe here, so I think they kind of mix it up, but typically it's one or the other, if I'm not mistaken. Plenty of countertop space in here. Um, I don't think it's anything short on cabinets at all as well, but I'm gonna one up it here right, and show you this nice walk-in pantry as well, almost like a butler style setup with the sink. You still have a view outside. You still have a, um, I'm sorry, a dishwasher, a little fridge, a microwave, and then even a full-size fridge right here. Plenty of cabinet space and of course a window as well. So this space is a little narrow. Uh, so sorry if the camera's not catching it all, but it's really nice to have this as well to do some light preparations over here or get the drinks ready or even have the espresso machine hidden back here. I know that we would definitely do that in our house. Now, another walk-in pantry right here, huge. So plenty of space to organize in there as well. Now, this would be the garage side. Technically, that's currently closed. So I apologize, I can't show that. But it shows you this home has so much space for over 4,000 square feet. I mean, it's got all the bells and whistles that you could want in a home this size. Now let's really show you what, what makes these homes so attractive and why the price point 
is what it is on these homes because you have the most gorgeous view. Now over here, you have the covered patio. Plenty of seating out here, very nice, but I don't think the camera captures it. But if you just look out straight out that way, I can clearly see Folsom Lake down below and it is gorgeous. You got some nice mature oak trees around here. And a lot of these homes are gonna have view lots. Now that can vary and the price of the homes will vary highly determinate on what kind of view lot you have, but literally you're surrounded by million, if not multi-million dollar homes all around here. Uh, so really gorgeous area here in El Dorado Hills. I apologize, the camera just does not catch this view, but you can literally see the downtown skyline and the sun would be setting right over there in the evening. So just a gorgeous area here in El Dorado Hills. Now I'll show you a better view upstairs, but let's get inside to kind of continue this tour. So if you're enjoying this video so far, give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with someone that might be looking for a home in the area. We review all the new builds in Sacramento. Now over here, you do have kind of a guest coat closet. I know it's kind of filled with some random stuff right now, but a lot of people like to see those things, especially when shopping in the area. We gotta know all the details. Now this home on the flooring looks like it's equipped with luxury vinyl planking. When it comes to upgrades, you can really do a lot of stuff yourself in the design studio and uh, really make it your own with all the colors. So right here, I think the main thing to pay attention to is really the flow of the house and if it makes sense for you and your family. Now up here, you have the loft. It's very similar to the plan three that we're also reviewing on the channel. Nice size loft, you got windows out the back, also on that viewpoint. Now over here, you have some cabinet space here as well for maybe some linens to hide. But really, this is the main event. You have the owner suite right here. Beautiful oversized owner suite, of course, with its own private balcony. Really quickly, I'm gonna go into this owner's bath and show you what this thing has to offer. Beautiful, nice size bath, nice, huge walk-in shower. I do like the tile work in there. You do have a soaking tub. Beautiful, oversized. You got windows off the front side of the home. A lot of natural light. You do have dual sinks. So very nice, a lot of space in here. And of course, a huge walk-in closet. Gotta love the robes. Makes you feel like you're in your own spa. But plenty of space in this walk-in closet. Very nice. Now I'm gonna show you guys, there's a loo as well. But I'm gonna show you guys the outside because I mean, this is really what's all the attraction. I've already had so many clients come and visit this community wanting one of these homes because check this out. It is just absolutely gorgeous, peaceful, quiet, besides the construction, of course, right now. <laughs> but I know this area well. I've been up here a bunch. We have family friends living in the area. It is just absolutely gorgeous. You can't beat this view. You can see downtown. You can see, again, Folsom Lake over there parts of it through the trees it is just gorgeous. And that's exactly where the sun sets every evening. So it's amazing. I do love having the private balcony up top. I think especially for a primary suite that is gorgeous. Gotta have that, especially with homes around here that are all in the million dollar price point. Now speaking of price point, these homes are, they all fluctuate depending on the lot premiums and things like that and what floor plan you're getting and where it's located but you're starting about 1.2, 1.3 million currently with the pricing. Now that's subject to change, of course, and with the upgrades, that price could fluctuate as well. But here's another bedroom. Now this one is a little bit bigger size. It has a view as well, but this one has an ensuite option or basically a bath attached, a full bath attached. So this is a great option for maybe someone, uh, an older kid in the home, someone visiting even. Uh, I do like that. It's got a walk-in closet and a bath, so that's really nice to have that in one of the smaller bedrooms. Now, coming over this way, you do have a nice laundry, like a big size laundry. I'm trying to get this light on for you, apologize. Nice cabinets up top. You still have the sink, very nice tile as well. Good design here. So just very clean, nothing crazy, nothing over the top. And of course it flows over this way to dual sinks. It's probably gonna be the bathroom that the kids share. And I do like that it has that separation for the toilet and the shower here. If someone is using that, um, then it could still be dual use, especially with kids or people sharing. I think that's a good feature to have. Now over here, 
another bedroom. This one's gonna be more of on the side of the home. As you can see, it's kind of facing the other floor plan that they have available here. It does have a small walk-in closet, so I, I like that as well. So these homes are definitely not short on space. I think the style and the flow is very functional. Now this is actually, for a small room, is a good sized room, I would say in here. Uh, you can see they threw in a bunk bed uh, with a little desk, but it's also got a walk-in closet. So good, very good space on these homes. I really like the flow of these homes. I would say the plan three and plan four are very similar in certain ways. Of course, the square footage can adjust. Now, one thing to keep in mind on these homes, if you're considering buying one of these homes, is that there's gonna be an upgrades cost. The other thing to consider is that there is a small HOA in the community and it varies depending on what street you're on. But if, if I were to give you like a guesstimate, it's anywhere from 50 to $150. It doesn't cover too much, it's more for the community. Uh, unfortunately, it's currently not gated. Um, so I know some people were asking about that. But if that's not a big deal for you, I mean, you're really in one of the more prestigious premier areas here in El Dorado Hills with literally the most gorgeous views. Aside from that, tax rate is between 1.5 and 1.7%. So you're gonna to wanna to confirm that based on the specific home you're buying here in the area. And if you have any more questions on this community interested in coming to take a tour, please reach out to me down below. Our team would love to help you out with finding a brand new home here in El Dorado Hills. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tour of this new home here in El Dorado Hills. If you have any more questions on this community or would like more information on how to buy a new build here in the Sacramento area, reach out to me and my team down below. We'd love to assist you. But for now, my name is Sam Golovi. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one.